The stars of Grey's Anatomy are not doctors in real life, obviously, but they do play them on TV. So we asked real life orthopedic surgeon Dr. Sonu Aluwalia to challenge their medical knowledge. This is going to be so much fun. Welcome, Dr. Sonu. Thanks, Nancy. So are you a big fan of I Grey's am. Anatomy? I, am. I really am. And, you know, I really enjoy what they do on the show. They do so it was definitely a thrill for me to visit the set of the fictional Seattle Grace Hospital. And beginning with Dr. Gray herself, I wanted to quiz them on the doctor lingo they deliver so well. So you said the labs show that she has a teratoma. Yes. Janelle's labs show she has a teratoma. Do you know what a teratoma is? I do know what a teratoma oh, okay. is, yes. Yeah. <laughs> a teratoma is a tumor or a mass with hair and bone yeah. teeth. Very good. Yeah, and wow. differentiated tumor. She's really smart. You've got a pseudoaneurysm in the splenic artery. What is a pseudoaneurysm of the splenic artery? Uh, an aneurysm in the splenic artery. <laughs> Did what that explain <laughs> that very well? Dr. Aluwalia was welcomed with open arms. He hosts his own new talk show, All Is Well, and his fans call him the Dr. Oz of India. So you said, I need a purse string in this aorta. Did I say that? Yeah. You need a first string in the aorta. It's kind of in the through area, right? Isn't Close it? enough, it's in the chest. It's in the chest. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The bronchus, judging by the ossification, probably a carcinoid tumor. There's obviously some cancerous material growth going on in there, and we want to try and see. Good, good thinking, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a post-op ortho patient on, on DVT, DVT prophylaxis, prophylaxis with a subdural hematoma, Derek. She's got a blown pupil. Okay, subdural hematoma is a bleed in the brain. Yes. Um, and a DVT. And a DVT, I do not a know. A deep venous thrombosis. Things Which that... is a clot in yeah, the leg. clot. Yes. You pass. Thank you. <laughs> and what about their knowledge of medical instruments? Suction. So you use the curling iron thingy. This is the curling so iron. <laughs> this is what you do in the morning. You go zap, zap, zap. <laughs> oh, my paddles. That's yes. what they are. Yes. See, I'm good. What do you think that is? That is the aura. That really? Is the aura. So that's the main um, yeah. thing that feeds the heart. It actually what? comes out of the heart. Like, this looks like some kind of retractor. Yes. Okay. You're, you're a good general surgeon. <laughs> All right. Good. As for season nine, set secrets, last season ended with a horrifying plane crash. Derek! And an injury to Derek's hand may end his career. That's crazy for a surgeon to have his hand injured. Yes, quite a severe hand injury. Right. So also very interesting to yeah. see how he's going to cope Yeah, exactly. With that. You know, because. Um, our livelihoods are our hands. Right. And so if you... Yeah. Nice hands. Yeah. Nice hands. <laughs> big hands. Um, now, you... I didn't say big. <laughs> I said nice. <laughs> oh, Ellen Payne, you a compliment. Let me see. Okay, she's right. You do have nice hands. I guess the surgeon's got to. Well, I think I need a manicure stat. <laughs> well, you know what? Dr. McDreamy's hand injury sounds like it's going to be serious. Uh, yes, but I do think he's in good hands. Pardon the pun. Oh, he's a comedian, too. <laughs> but I do think that their storylines <laughs> ring very true. Yes, and we're going to find out what happens when season nine of Grey's Anatomy premieres September the 27th on ABC. And thank you very much, Dr. Sonu. Good job. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks for having me.